Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, Merlin Labs receives certification basis for autonomous flight system. Also, Urban Aeronautics secures $10 million advance for City Hawk. And first experimental flight test of East Darling Demonstrator complete. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Merlin Labs receives certification basis for autonomous flight system. Merlin Labs shares that the certification basis of its takeoff to touchdown autonomy system has been approved by the Civil Aviation Authority of New Zealand in collaboration with the FAA. Merlin is now the first company to reach an agreement on an approach for its certification of aircraft autonomy, according to the media release. Following a crawl, walk, run approach, this system incorporates an onboard safety pilot who will continue to act as legal pilot in command. We're thrilled to become the first company to receive a certification basis for a takeoff to touchdown flight system, said Sean Johnson, CEO Merlin New Zealand. The CAA's decision clearly puts Merlin ahead of any other company in the world in bringing full autonomy to the skies. Cindy Comer, Vice President of Certification of Quality at Merlin Labs said, We believe it's essential to engage early and often with regulators, Comer said. We spent a lot of time with the CAA and FAA to make them aware of how we're developing our system and tackling various challenges. The company notes that they are expecting to see autonomous flights that can take off, navigate, land, and communicate with air traffic control as soon as 2023. Coming up after the break, a web space telescope testing complete. More news after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at flightsimple.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. I believe that if people use the landing doctor training program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Lilium finalizes business acquisition of a new corporation. Lilium reveals the completion of its business combination with Kel, a publicly listed special purpose acquisition company, approved by Kel's shareholders on September 10th, 98% of the votes were in favor of this combination. Beginning September 15th, Lilium's Class A ordinary shares and redeemable warrants started trading on the NASDAQ under the symbols Lilum and Lilum MW, respectively. James Webb Space Telescope testing complete. Launch date is also set. NASA has set the date for the James Webb Space Telescope to be launched into orbit, where it will serve as a deep space observatory for the next 10 years. The telescope will be launched on December 18th. A major turning point for the mission was completing testing and establishing the launch date after the coordination with Ariane Space. Webb is led by NASA and partnered with the ESA and the Canadian Space Agency. Wingcopter drone flies blood samples in Germany. Graveswell University Hospital, German Air Ambulance Service, DRF, 
Luftratung and Wingcopter recently partnered to transport blood samples 16 miles in the northeast German federal state of Mecklenburg, West Pomerania. The flights were carried out by Gracewell University Medical Center in cooperation with DRF, Luftratung and Wingcopter as part of the MV Life Drone Challenge Project of the Hospital's Department of Anesthesiology. Europe Car Brazil places large order for 50 e gyro electric aircraft. Europe Car Brazil has shares plans to purchase 50 e gyro electrically powered vertical takeoff and landing aircraft from Skyworks Aeronautics for use in Brazil. Europe Car shares their anticipation as the purchase plans move forward. Europe Car Brazil is extremely excited to partner with Skyworks Aeronautics to bring safe, efficient and cost-effective electric aircraft solutions to Brazil, stated Paulo Gaba, chief executive officer of the Autotour Group, the Europe Car franchisee for Brazil. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Urban Aeronautics secures $10 million advance for City Hawk. Israel-based aerospace company Urban Aeronautics has revealed the first $10 million towards their next round of funding. After the latest test flights in July ran smoothly, the company has demonstrated the capabilities of their eVTOL called City Hawk. According to the company, investors in the U.S., Brazil, and Israel participated in the round. City Hawk is a car-sized eVTOL designed for multiple trips within a city per day with zero emissions and minimal noise. The City Hawk is intended for commercial air charters and emergency medical services and will be fueled by hydrogen. The company was founded in 2006 and is in a Series A round of at least $100 million. October 2020 marked the arrival of new leadership as Nimrod Galen Yene became the CEO. Since then, several milestones have been reached, including the new exterior of the City Hawk features a compact, wingless shape, a partnership with California-based High Point to adapt hydrogen fuel cell technology for aviation, a pre-order from Hadzola Air for four City Hawk EV tolls for ambulance use, impact study agreements with Skyports to study the infrastructure for vertiports in urban hubs in the Middle East, and in addition how vertiports can be designed to better support a hydrogen-fueled air fleet. Coming up after the break, first experimental flight test of eStarling Demonstrator complete. Those details after these messages. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. First experimental flight test of eStarling Demonstrator complete. Samad Aerospace, based in the UK, has completed the first test flights of its fully electric Starling aircraft successfully. The Starling aircraft will offer human air transportation to remote locations. It can transport either one passenger or 220 pounds of payload at a speed of 120 miles per hour and range of 136 miles. The test flight focused on flight control systems and handling quality of the aircraft during the hover. Dr. Sayed Mosseni, CEO of Samad Aerospace, commented, It was fantastic to be be the first person to fly our beautiful Starling aircraft. 
The experimental test flight went to plan and was the next step to make Starlink aircraft a reality. The fully electric VTOL aircraft will change the future of transportation while reducing emissions and carbon footprint. In the next stage, we will move to full transition from hover to cruise. And the following year, we will introduce our second product which is a two-seater e-trainer using the same configuration of the e-Starling to give us a best-in-class understanding of this industry and of the market, he continues. The Samad Aerospace team is already planning the next test flights. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Aaron News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.